Hello Grade 7, I am Teacher Dan and I will be your art teacher for today. Make sure to grab your modules with you and stay tuned to our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Make sure to take down the things about our lesson. You may also have to answer all the given activities on your module after watching to our discussion. Do you love arts and crafts? Can you identify easily the arts and crafts of Luzon? Do you know how to make one? Prepare your eyes and mind as you examine deeply the arts and crafts of Luzon. What makes it attractive and unique? What is present in its appearance? This video lesson is based from your learning activity sheets in Art Grade 7, Quarter 1, Week 1. So, bring out your learning activity sheets and your learner's module to page 146 to 148. Our learning competencies for this learning session are analyzes elements and principles of art in the production of one's arts and crafts inspired by the arts of Luzon, highlands and lowlands. Identify characteristics of arts and crafts in the specific areas of Luzon, example, paper mache, taka, from paete, ifuga wood, sculptures, bulul, cordillera jewelry, and pottery, tattoo, and locus weaving in Abel and pottery, burnai, etc. Before the lesson, let's have a warm-up questions. I have here two questions for you to answer. The first question is, What do you think is the process and the products of forming vessels and other objects with clay and other ceramic materials? Very good. The answer is pottery. The second question is, What do you think is the method of textile production in which two distinct sets of yarns or threads are interfaced at right angles to form a fabric or cloth? That's great. The answer is weaving. To proceed in our topic, we will discuss the arts and crafts of Ilocos region and Pangasinan. Let's identify the characteristics of the arts and crafts of Ilocos region, such as architecture, textile, and pottery. The first one is architecture in Ilocos region, one of the famous landmarks in Vigan. Vigan, considered as the Intramuros of the North, retains the Spanish colonial architecture along its narrow and cobblestone streets known as Calle Crisologo. Inabel is a hand-weaving technique of the Ilocanos that is produced using traditional wooden looms. These different designs represent different meanings. The dizzying binacol weave represents the waves of the sea. They believe that this design protects them from bad spirits. The Inabel designs are inspired by natural elements, patterns that depict different landforms, the color of the flowers and vegetation, played zigzags, animal patterns, and ocean waves of the glittering night sky. Burnai is an unglazed earthen jar with a small opening. It is used for storage for water and rice grains and as container for salt, brown sugar, basi, local wine, and bagoong, fermented fish. Next is the characteristics of the arts and crops and it's very popular in Pangasinan, which is weaving. Weaving, the arts and crafts of Pangasinan include the smoothly woven bolinaw mats made from buri or afia leaves 
and the bamboo crafts, baskets, furniture of San Carlos. The arts elements found in the arts and crafts of Ilocos region and Pangasinan are rectangular shape of bolinao mats and round shape of the opening of burnay, soft texture of the inabel textile and its different colors, lines, and shape on its motif, and lastly, the space and value on the picture of Calle Crisologo in vegan. To sum up our lesson, provide a brief answer to the questions below. What are the popular arts and crafts in Ilocos Region and Pangasinan? Vegan, considered as the intramuros of the North retains the Spanish colonial architecture along its narrow and cobblestone streets known as Calle Crisologo. Inabel is a hand-weaving technique of the Ilocanos. Burnay is an unglazed earthen jar with small opening uses storage. At this point, turn your activity sheets to enrichment part. You are going to identify the following questions stated in your activity sheet in Art 7. I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions or clarifications regarding to the topic we discussed today, don't hesitate to contact your subject teacher through call, text, or post your questions in your official Facebook page or group. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, Cyber Dano Language. Bye!